Thank you for watching this video. Uh, in this third video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, accounts of civil, its AR report uh, for each sales rep. It's basically uh, your salesman's report uh, that you can distribute uh, to your salespeople on a regular basis, monthly or weekly. You can set it up and uh, distribute to uh, your salespeople. So let's get started. Uh, I'm already logged in here. I'm using Essentials. Uh, there is a reason for that. Uh, if you can do it in Essentials, the chances are you can also do it in Plus Plan. Uh, Plus Plan has more features, but you can, even on this one you can do it. But if you have Simple Start, uh, you can't do it. Uh, so I'll show you why you can't do it in Simple Start. But if you have Essentials and Plus, you can generate this report. All right, so before we do that, uh, I get, we get this a call a lot. Uh, they heard about the uh, QuickBooks Online and good things. Uh, they heard it and they want to sign up. So uh, how to sign up QuickBooks Online. Uh, you can go to quickbooks.intu.com or you can just visit our website. It's newqbo.com, newqbo.com. And uh, in our home, Page, we have a uh, affiliated link here so right here so you can click this or this it will take you to uh, uh, into QuickBooks online website and uh, uh, you can sign in there so uh, we have all kinds of visitors so if, if you go to our uh, uh, Twitter page it will tell you last year in 2014 uh, we have uh, 149 countries visited our si uh, site and it's right here it's new at new QBO. that's our Twitter uh, name so you can just follow us there too uh, 149 countries so we have visited our website is visited by uh, all kinds of foreign countries uh, US is number one of course so let's get started on this one so let's start with the uh, uh, the customer screen here so if you have a new customer screen you go in here this is your blue navigation bar on the left side new screen your customer uh, information screen so there's no place to put uh, your sales trip name if you want to sign this uh, uh, customer by uh, uh, sales rep uh, this is like a it's like a regular uh, uh, vanilla type of screen you know there's nothing this basic stuff but there's no uh, place to put in your sales trip anything so the only way you could do that now we have to assign the sales rep when we create invoice so that's where we come in uh, so what you have to do is uh, we have to create custom fields so in order to cu create custom fields uh, on your sales forms what you have to do is you come to the uh, gear here company gear here upper uh, right corner so click it here and go to company settings right here company settings and go to sales sales form content and this is where you see custom fields so just click that one uh, so you have to have a uh, uh, three fields here so you can pick uh, one for sales rep uh, the other one for uh, in this case I have a purchase over here custom field number is three just click this one like this okay so before I save this uh, I'm going to show you the difference here. So right now, if you just go to uh, invoice, to create invoice, you can do it from here. Just say create invoice from here, or from uh, quick uh, plus sign. So as you can see here, there's no uh, place to put uh, your sales rep here. So this is what we're trying to do here. We want to create three custom fields, and one we will use it for sales rep. So right now, there's nothing in here. So we're going to create a uh, uh, custom field for, uh, for sales rep here. All right, so come here, we'll go back to this uh, settings page. So we're just going to save it, enable, uh, it just to enable this custom field. Let's we'll save it, and done. Uh, okay, so now you can go to uh, your invoice form, right here, invoice form, or sales form, or estimate, doesn't matter. So in this case, we're going to use your sales uh, invoice sales invoice form here so as you can see here now it's sales sales trip is here purchase order and custom number three is still 
uh, is too bland. You can use it for something else. All right, let's create a few invoices here. Okay, so that I have three customers here. So we create Kelly Construction, and let's say the sales trip in this case is uh, Cassie. All right, and you can use purchaser, whatever you want. If you get purchaser from your uh, from your uh, from a customer, and they like to see it, if you want to get it fast, paid it paid fast. So you use a purchaser if you if you have it, and let's create invoice here. Let's say this is product A. It says five thousand dollar. Okay. So if you have uh, uh, this is essential. I say I'm using essential. So if you have if you're using uh, uh, plus, you may have some extra field in here like class or tracking. So uh, essential they don't have that. Uh, so the whole purpose is to this use this sales rep report all right so save and save and new save and new all right and let's create another one here for the same uh, customer All right, so that should do it for that one. Uh, and let's create another one for office construction customer. All right, in this case, let's say uh, uh, sales trip is different. Let's say it's Brenda. Okay, uh, let's create another one. This is just to generate uh, a lookalike report, you know. Let's say the uh, customer, uh, the sales rep in this case is Allison. If you want to use purchaser, like this. So that's to do it. Okay, so now we want to see uh, uh, accounts receivable salesman's report here. here. Okay, so do, do that. Uh, you go in here, reports, reports, do a navigation bar. So the report you want to see is uh, uh, accounts receivable aging detail here. Accounts receivable aging detail, not account, accounts receivable aging summary. This one won't give you. Uh, salesman's report but this will we have to customize this one to get the uh, uh, each salesman's report here pick this one all right so it's gonna do it for today right here okay and now uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a sales rep here to customize it okay you can hear rows and column chains and we're gonna add sales strip right here sales strip we're gonna add this one and we're gonna add next to client you can put it any place you want but let's I just, I just want to do this next to client and just click OK so run report as you can see here, you got the uh, sales rep name right here, everything. 
all right so this everything in one place so this is not gonna uh, gonna do it for you we want to create a salesman report each salesman so what you have to do is you got to further customize it at this point you have everything all the information right here this is the uh, complete information here for AR aging detail and so we're going to customize it again and in this case we're gonna sign sales rep name here sales rep match see the match one here sales rep and we're gonna do one for Kathy and you can do uh, the same for uh, uh, Brenda and Allison So right here, as you can see here, Kathy's reported right here. All right, and uh, at this point, it looks pretty good. So we just created these two invoices. So you can uh, distribute report to, uh, to Kathy. Uh, and let's, for, let's uh, customize it a little more. So instead of saying AR aging detail, so we're gonna say uh, AR aging uh, detail, uh, for Cassie like this or you can change any, any way you want it or you can just say customer outstanding invoices report for Cassie so the salespeople they don't know too much about the AR but they know outstanding invoices Especially if this, uh, these outstanding invoices are tied to getting their commission, I'm sure they will uh, uh, take care of this. So here we go, right here. So our customer outstanding invoice report for, for Cathy. And uh, so you don't want to customize this all the time. So you want to make this uh, uh, customized report. So what you have to do is right here, save customization. So this one's going to be for Cathy. So Click it here, name of right here, customer outstanding invoice for Cassie, and you can distribute to uh, uh, Cassie's boss or your boss if you want to. You can create a group in here. Uh, you just have to know how to do this one right here, and just say right here. So now, next time, this is another screen here. Let's close this screen, and right here, so just go reports and my custom report let's go to my custom report so right here like this one as you can see here there's no email or anything scheduled so you can create a group and e or download excel or distribute uh, on a regular basis to uh, uh, to whoever you want so right here you just click this one so this right here and so this is as of today so this is what you have to do uh, and uh, so that's that's how you uh, generate uh, account to report for its sales rate so uh, uh, that's what you got to do so anyway uh, going back to our new QBO here all you have to do is just, sign, is just create sign up here and it will take you to uh, uh, right here so in this case uh, they, they have a sale going on, sale ends Friday. Uh, so just watch for this uh, banner in here. So sometimes they may have this banner, if they have a special sale. Uh, in this case, they have one. And normally they, they come back in a week or so, they will also have it. Uh, if not, then they have to pay for this. As you can see here, it's a regular price now is $19.99 for essential. But if you click it here, let's see how much they're gonna sell it for. So they're gonna sell you for thirteen ninety nine for six months. That thirty percent off. So that's pretty good uh, deal. So uh, all they have to do, as I said, from home, click here. It will take you to their website, and look for what for this banner here, special sign banner. But uh, now, if it, if it, there is nothing here, then at that point you have to pay this regular price. Uh, anyway, so uh, if you have any questions, you can always. Uh, uh, visit our website, it's newqbo.com, by VP Controller. Uh, and uh, so that's about it. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, uh, our YouTube video. 
uh, we have all kinds of subscribers now. Uh, thank you for watching and bye.